Hey everybody, Jace Allen here. Uh, I finally got around to doing the Stratocaster neck uh, file in VCarve Pro. It's not perfect. Uh, the front headstock is pretty good, but the back, getting all those contours to work right in VCarve Pro, for some reason it's just not working. So it's It'll get you to the point where you'll have to do some sanding, I think, on it. And that's the way it was when I first did the uh, Aspire file. Uh, so I don't, I'm not sure what's going on with it. I don't really work in VCarve Pro, so I don't know a ton about how it handles uh, models. It's a little different than it is in, in Aspire. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go through a quick tutorial on how to do that uh, in VCarve Pro, so at least you can get kind of started on it and then maybe somebody out there will know uh, how to get us uh, over this hurdle to uh, get the file sort of perfect. So you're going to want to go to my Google Drive. The links will be in the description below and you're going to want to find the folder called VCarve Pro Strat and you're going to want to look for the file called VCarve Pro Strat Neck.crv and then you're going to want to open that in VCarve Pro, and that'll give you the outline and the tuning peg holes. And it's a two sided file. And then you'll also want headstock front.stl and neck, new neck back.stl. Those are the 3D components. And you'll have to do them one at a time, so you'll have to save the front. Uh, with a 3D contour and then save a new version of it without the front and then do the back. So you want to do file, import, component, headstock front. Hit open. It'll pull it in kind of like this, kind of weird. Center model, position and import. Uh, leave everything Depth below top should be zero, uh, and then import. And then go back to your 2D view, click on this, double click it, move it to where it needs to go. And then over here you want to right double click on this and change it to merge highest point then that should be good so let's click on that go to tool paths do th oh, let me get rid of these I worked on this before so I'm going to click on that click on that go to tool paths go to 3d rough Don't mess with any of those settings. Go back to tool paths, go 3D finish. Uh, while we're at it, we might as well go to our 2D view and grab the outline. Go to tool paths, go to profile tool path, cut to a depth of 0.8. Everything else should stay the same. Okay, preview all sides and we'll see what we get. There we go. So that's the that's the top of the headstock. And then you can do the the holes too. Just do those as either a drill or uh, a pocket. Uh, not a pocket, but a uh, what do you call it? This one here, the profile tool path. Okay, so then when you do that. You can save that as, you know, Stratocaster front or Stratocaster neck front or whatever you want to call it. And you'll have to delete this 3D component. You'll have to go back into File, Import. Oh, here, delete your tool paths to just the 3D ones. Okay, so you're going to want to flip to the back. And then you should probably do you 
should probably copy this to the other side so you can see it. But you're now going to want to do a toolpath for that because then you'd have two of them, but you want to be able to see it. And you want to be on the back. And then go to your import component 3D model, grab new neck back STL. Okay, there it is. You're going to center it. As you can see, it's basically in the right spot. I'll position and import. Then here's where things get kind of tricky. You want to go below depth below top 0.75 and then import. And that gives you the whole model. And then you have to do some tweaking to get it to work right. Zoom in and get this position where you want it. And then you want to double click over here and you want to merge component. If you go into your 3D view, you can see that that is correct. You're level to this, so you want to merge that. Okay. So then the base height want to be half of 375 so you want minus 375 see because this is your middle this isn't the bottom or top of the material this plane here is actually the middle okay so there that's what you want okay so close that go into your 2d view Grab this component, come over to tool paths, go to 3D rough, calculate. Oops. Now you're going to want to do 3D raster. Okay, so now you can see that it's up too high. So you really want to go to material, see where it says gap below model. You don't want any gap at all. See, now it recalculated and now the mesh is right where it should be. And then you want to go back to this and I think you can set that now back to Z level. Correct, okay. So just to be clear, this should be on Z level, not 3D raster. And then leave all this other stuff the same. And I usually do boundary offset point one two five um, and that gets rid of this little edge you're gonna see on there when in V carve but it doesn't seem to do it on here but maybe it will this time I don't know <laughs> okay then go to 3d finish leave everything the way it is you can do the boundary offset to a quarter or an eighth of an inch uh, hit calculate okay so now you're gonna see what I mean with uh, if you reset the preview Preview all sides. So you, you've you got the neck, this is the contour, everything, but it leaves this little edge on here, this little shelf. And I don't know why I can't seem to get that to go away. And usually these 3D previews are pretty good. That it's usually it shows you what you're going to get. And when I first started doing this in Aspire, I had that little edge on there and I managed to get rid of it. I, I, I just don't know how to do it in VCarve Pro. It's not all the tricks that I try don't work. It's usually this boundary offset. And that seems to work, but it's, it's not doing it in this case. But anyway, that should get you a lot farther <laughs> than not having the file at all. So hopefully that helps. It's a little helpful. And uh, I'll keep working on it. Maybe I can figure it out one of these times. Uh, I'm going to try to do a full build here pretty soon. And uh, But I'll use Aspire and uh, we'll see what happens. So if anybody out there knows about VCarve or they can improve on this, uh, feel free to post in the comments or shoot me an email. And uh, we'll revise this tutorial and get it so that it's absolutely perfect. So 
Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.